What's up, dudes? Look who is in the basement. Boys and girls, welcome back. This is exciting. This is very, very exciting for me to be here right now. Two worlds colliding together. Yeah. <laughs> Exciting stuff. Thank you for having me. This oh. is this is like wildly kind of you to have me here. Oh, absolutely. I um, I was excited when I heard you were up in the area, and I was like, we got to do this. Yeah. And uh, I was really, uh, uh, you know, happy. Uh, this is one of my here. favorite shows. You have a very warm-hearted channel. Good conversations. Good talk. I like it. I'm 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 thrilled to be here. Go on. <laughs> This is great. Well, you know, you're one of the few channels that actually invites guests in. You think so? Yeah. I think so. A lot of people, except, you know, there are other people that do kind of the two-person thing, but you have guests come yeah. in. And you, you just know. talk about real things, and that's, <clears throat> I think that adds a bit of realness to it that, you know, some other, some other people don't have. Well, you know, uh, the bottom line is is that uh, I have, you know, some friends that, you know, uh, I think they're good players. Right. And they don't just do the YouTube thing. And I want right. to get them out here. Mm -hmm. My friend Steve Marchena, my friend Joe Hart, he's doing more YouTube. Uh, Steve has done some YouTube, uh, some stuff. But, you know, it was just never quite... Uh, you know uh the the audience that i was getting and i was like come on over right 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 and uh you know uh i i, I love having the guests over i've been trying to get a couple of guys over here for like 18 months now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and still haven't been able to get them over but you know people are busy and i realize that so the, it's like, the closest i've done recording oh now we're live right now we're live <laughs> nice are we starting well, over or are we well we don't have to okay <laughs> So I was saying that um, the closest I've come to actually inviting people is like doing a Skype session or having someone dial in. Right. It's nice to have that second person, but it doesn't replace this. Yeah, you know, uh, the problem with the Skype that I've seen is that, mm -hmm. um, you know, I'd say the it just the quality sometimes isn't there. Yep. You know, there can be glitches mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes there's a stutter in the video or yep. a stutter in the audio. Uh, and at least here, I know I'm running everybody through this, you know, yeah. this rig and, you know, it's somewhat, I can almost hear our mics phasing a little bit. Gotcha. But, you know, there's yeah, only so much effort I'm putting in. Well, that, I mean, this is, <laughs> that's what makes it real, right? This yeah. is just, you know, honest to goodness, real stuff. Yeah. 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 So uh, TK was up in town. And I got the text yesterday that he might be available tonight, and uh, it's a late one, as it often is with me. But uh, two two a.m. two o six a.m. <laughs> I told you I do my videos late at night. There you go. <laughs> but you know what? He's been here for hours. We've been just blah blah blah, and we're on our like second cup of coffee. This and, is true. Uh, you know, we were just talking about the state of YouTube. Talking about a lot of things. A lot of things. Lots of things. <laughs> What time did I get here? About 10 o'clock, maybe? Mm -hmm. No, about 10.30. About 10.30. 1, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. About three and a half hours of chit-chat. Yeah, it's a lot of chit-chat. We lot had of some catching up to do. We, we met each other in person. That's right, this past NAM. For this, for, yeah, for this past NAM mm -hmm. was the first time. And um, You were having fun at NAM. I was having You were hanging out. I, I love NAM, you know. And I, I this first time I went, I said... I'm not going to be too businesslike in this first one. I mm -hmm. want to do more, um, like, treat it like a vacation and more like fun. And I think I, I did. Yeah. This next one I go to, this one in, in January, I, I might do make a slight more effort to get some more footage. I was at the extreme other end of that because I said, you know, it's funny, before I went, I said, I'm going to have fun. And I just wind up, you know, to shoot the video, it's it's time consuming. You're lugging all the stuff around. Right. And you want to get every last piece. I think I did like 70 videos um, released before I left. So in four days, 70 videos in HD before I left. So not only was he, was I working on the floor, but it, back in the hotel room, because I did it all myself. Yeah. Well, Todd was with me. Right. Um, and, you know, tremendous help. But it, it was like a job. 
Oh, yeah. And I, I don't know how to have fun and do... I mean, I am having fun. Let's face it. It's a labor of love. Right. Um, but it's not like I was just hanging out. And I'll tell you what, there's something to be said for just hanging out and enjoying it. And I feel like I didn't really hang out and enjoy it. Hold on one second here. Sure. I think... Uh, there we go. I think your mic was a little hot. Gotcha. I think we're a little better now. Can you hear me? Yeah, I think you were modulating the hair. Gotcha. Okay. I, I don't that's a, that's a tech term. I don't, I don't hear myself as much as I was, like, can you talk? Yeah, check one, I two. I hear you a lot louder. Yeah. You, yeah. But you could hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think gotcha. before you were squashing a little bit, because I had, you know, it's a lot of knobs on that thing. <laughs> That's right. It's like I'm getting punchy from punching all these buttons. There you go. There <laughs> you, know, you, go. you know what that line's from? No. George Jetson. <laughs> Right. I used to watch the Jets. Yeah, so, you know, all he had to do was punch buttons all day, right? Right, he just right, that's right. And he'd go, I'm getting punchy from punching all these buttons. Right, 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 right. <laughs> always needed Jetsons. time off. I talked to my kids about, like, Jetsons, Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry was my favorite. They're like, who? Who? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they've been replaced by Itchy and Scratchy. SpongeBob. And SpongeBob. SpongeBob has to be number one. Oh, yeah. But Spongebob is actually really funny. It is. Um, There's a lot of adult humor and in innuendo in Spongebob. The best episode of Spongebob, mm -hmm. by far, mm -hmm. bar none, is Band Geeks, which okay. is, I think, the second season. So I'm sitting there. Hey, you know, I don't know the episodes. Mm -hmm. They've mm -hmm. been in repeat. This episode is like, you know, eight years old, mm -hmm. and I'm watching it for the first time right, in like right. a few years ago with my kids. And it's, you know, Squidward is in always, you know, fighting with Squilliam, mm -hmm. fancy son, you know, and he's a failure and Squilliam's always doing so well. Mm -hmm. So he says, well, I have a band. He's like, oh, yeah, well, your band can open up at like the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he tries to get his band together and it's, you know, it's SpongeBob and the whole cast and it's just awful. Right. And he gets to the end and he says... Well, you've crushed my dreams. It'll never happen. Right. And they get, SpongeBob gives a big pep talk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the night before the show, they practice all night. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the next day, Squidward shows up and he's all depressed. He says, well, I'll just get this over with. Mm -hmm. And he raises. You did the, that voice very good, by yeah, the way. Thank yeah. you. And uh, he raises the, uh, <laughs> the baton up. Mm-hmm. And out comes this incredible song. And of course... Was it with the clarinet? It, it was with um, electric piano. Mm -hmm. And um, it's an old 80s song. It's the singer from Jafria. Mm -hmm. So here's SpongeBob going, The last one is gone. You know, and it's mm -hmm. this big 80s. Right, right, right. You right. know, and it's this all these power chords. You know, and, and the whole place is going crazy. And I am laughing so hard. And my kids are going, What's so funny? Right, right, so right. Funny. I'm going, this is funny on so many levels. Right. It would be a college course to explain mm -hmm, how funny mm -hmm. this is. I, I haven't seen that, but I have to. Band Geeks. Band Geeks. Yeah, it's from season two. I like watching the, the band cartoons or like the, the, you know, there's a lot of cartoon snippets that people put together of all the stuff that like maybe they shouldn't have said or got through. Right. You know, there's a lot of fun stuff on YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, uh, you know... It all comes down to the writing, mm -hmm. you know. Yes, when you I have agree. good writing, then it, it all the work, you know, the rest comes in. Uh, you know, you you think you know the characters after a while, mm -hmm. and you know you can probably relate to a few of the characters. That's right. You know, someone's had a boss like Mister Krabs. Mm -hmm. Someone's mm -hmm. worked with a coworker right. like Squidward. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, you know. It, it, it it just it just pulls all that together in such a funny way right. that you know it's just so well done. So you know you say the writing, and this isn't a shameless plug, but my website I put a tremendous amount of value in the writing. Yeah. Um, I don't think everyone does, especially in today's world where everything's video. Because let's face it, a, a lot of most of what I do is video. I write right. very little. Right. But like when I talk to my writers, I'm like, it needs to be like this because I'm not a good writer. I I write. There we go. Yeah. I write like I talk. It never stops. Right. And for someone to read that, maybe to listen to that, it's a little easier. But to read that, you want to pull your hair out. Right. Um, right. There's an art to the whole writing thing. And I put tremendous value. And to get back to your point of it's all in the writing, it, it, it's it, it's almost like an undervalued asset that whether it's a cartoon or music or a website or a magazine.